And of course, he is the 1990 Wimbledon champion. Second time he has won that Grand Slam event. He also owns two Australian Open titles. He has won three titles this year, including Wimbledon, beat Mal Washington, young American, Michigan grad, 6-2, 6-4 in the first. Had a tougher time with Matsuka, big server from Tokyo, and uh, went through Jeff Tarango, two breaks in that, and uh, dispatched to the Manhattan Beach made of pretty quickly. Well, basically, he's breezed through the first couple of rounds. Uh, uh, against the Japanese player, he had a little bit of difficulty, but uh, these courts are pretty quick, so if you serve well, uh, you can give somebody a little bit of trouble. Did hear the comment earlier in the week from Michael Chang that uh, they're a little bit faster than he had envisioned because they did resurface him. Stefan Edberg has a big kicking serve, and he breaks down Stefan Edberg's serve right here. Well, if you're going to talk about a weapon, Stefan Edberg possesses one of the deadliest serves in the game. And here's a great shot of that accentuated backhand grip, which produces all that spin that Stefan Edberg uses on his serve. The great knee bend, the athletic grace, and that power, the snap that he puts into that serve. All right, let's take a look at the first and second serve of Stefan Edberg. Here he tosses the ball pretty much directly over his head. Notice the pronounced knee bend. That's where he generates all of that power. And on the second serve, he's going to toss the ball slightly a little bit more behind his head. That's why he gets a little bit more spin and top spin on the serve. And it's a safer second serve. Now on the first serve, he'll flatten out his wrist so he can hit a flatter, harder serve. And on the second serve, he gets up and he comes from behind his head a little bit more, produces a little bit more spin, and it's a safer, more effective second serve. And of course, he gets to net where he possesses some of the best volleys in the, the tennis world. Stefan Edberg, the second ranked player in the world and the number one seed here. Across the court, Pete Sampras. He'll turn 19 next week, makes his home in Palos Verdes down the road, six footer. Two titles this year, Philly and the warm-up for Wimbledon, Manchester he took, and then he, uh, of course, lost in the first round of Wimbledon to Christo Van Rensburg. This is how he has reached the semifinals. Dropped only one set, that to Brad Pierce, and he got rid of Jason Stoltenberg, 6-3 and 6-4 from Australia. This is a guy who has a big serve and a big volley, very similar player. He's a bit of a streaky player, and he's a little bit predictable. That's why I, I feel that uh, Stefan Edberg's going to come on top of this match. He just puts so much pressure on you time and time again that uh, I think the inexperience of Sampras is, is going to be his downfall. Sampras goes left, and the backhand goes right. Love 15. take advantage of number let court sales long forty thirty take a look at it well I was in Toronto last week and I watched this kid at fifty two aces look at that he's got great snap so he's got a pretty good weapon in the service department himself and he has served twenty three aces through three matches in this tournament. Sampras got there, and he holds serve. After being down, love 30. Sampras shows right here. Now watch the serve and volley technique, but more especially, watch how Sampras, after he gets in and hits this low volley right here, watch the footwork now, because he covers, he anticipates right there, stretches wide, and hits a perfect drop volley. And there is Pete Sampras. 15 left. 30 
big angle, Stefan Edberg. Done. Oh, and again. He took both of those balls. First break point of the match. First. That's how he plays the volley. A little bit better. Only been broken three times. Back behind. Good decision by Sampras. He's really moving around the court exceptionally well here early on in the match. Edberg a little bit tentative with that volley, and then that's a very difficult angle. You Generally, you give that to your opponent. go wide and Edberg holds one all in the first set suited for cement courts a shot Barry wouldn't you agree that that's the one that he if, if there's a weakness he generally sometimes tends to on the line Pete Sampras 2-1 apparently very very loose at Pauly a couple before that 15 low Swung it wide to his forehand. Probably than he did a year ago, Ed Burke. And he'll put it away. That's a great play by Ed Burke. Barry, I mean, that was a really difficult ser uh, service return, and he just handled that half volley so well. Good hands from Ed Burke there. watch here uh, there once again that big torque with the legs and there he just really there that time he looked at he really punched at it a lot harder than he did before and he gets up so well for the overhead it's even a slow starter in the past yeah you know it, it depends really on the day or pulled that first game out and I think he's very much in this match I almost guessed right pulled off a miracle there Fifteen off. Oh, that's great. great. That's a tremendous pick up. See, that's where I, Ed, Ed Burke's so effective. I mean, whenever he has an opportunity to get into the net, he should come into the net, even though he's a good volume. Nicely done. And a couple of great points for Ed Burke. Well, Eberg's now starting to show us some of his flair. It's a good return or good preparation, and he just comes right over that. But uh, all, he set that up. He got down so low to the ball, and he just topped it over for, with a great angle. That was meant on purpose. It's just the sun, as Barry pointed out before, it's so tough to hit overhead today. 
He hit it right off the very edge of the racket at the top and produced like a backspin overhead. For sure. You can raise your hand, but you're not very sorry. You know that. Yeah, that works. Yeah, sneaks yeah. in and puts it away. So the first break of the match goes the way of the Swede, Stefan Edberg. 